Hey YouTube, welcome back to the channel. For today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to replace the keyboard on your Lenovo ThinkPad P580 or P52S. Before we start, I'd like to point out that the non-backlit keyboard has texture on the keys and an almost decaled look to the letters and numerals on the keyboard. If you like this sort of texture, you're not going to find it on the backlit keyboard, so that's something to watch out for. Alright, without further ado, let's get to it. The keyboard assembly is held on by these three screws right here. You'd want to loosen them first. With the laptop open, stick your fingernails or a spudger tool on the bottom seam here and slide it upwards. Once it reverses enough, lift the bottom edge and slide it downwards to release the upper edge of the keyboard. Once you do that, just flip it around and that should expose the wires you need to disconnect. There are going to be two connectors that you want to disconnect here. This one goes to the track point and mouse buttons, while this one is for the rest of the keyboard. So what you want to do is just lift this up with your fingernail or a spudger tool, and this one as well. And once you have them released, slowly guide them out. Like so. So the reason why I have three keyboards right here is that the laptop originally came with this one. I wanted the backlit one so I bought this. Unfortunately, the spacebar wouldn't work consistently. And I'm hoping this new one would have everything in order. So let's get to installation. Installing the new keyboard is more or less reverse of removal. You have greater slack here so you might want to install this one first. Slowly guide it into the port. And once the blue tabs on the cable are in line with the rest of the plastic port, you can press this down to lock it in. Do the same for this thinner cable. There's a white line on the cable to guide you. Once it's in line with the rest of the plastic port, you can press the black tab to lock it in. There you go. Once you have both cables securely installed, flip the keyboard up. Slide the upper edge in. Once it's in there, press down on the bottom edge and slide the tabs underneath the palm rest. Turn the laptop around and tighten the three screws we loosened earlier. Once your laptop boots right back up, you'd want to open Notepad or any similar word processor and just make sure the keyboard is working as it should. Once you make sure everything is in order, you're good to go. I hope you found this video useful and if you want to see more of these, please feel free to hit like on this video and subscribe to my channel. I promise not to spam your feed with clickbaity thumbnails and the like. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.